The latest mock drafts from USA Today and ESPN's Todd McShay have the Broncos taking Baker Mayfield with the fifth overall pick. Denver is in desperate need of a quarterback, but they also could go the free agency route and sign Kirk Cousins, who will obviously not be back in Washington. Shannon, who is a better fit for the Broncos? First Cousins. Mm. Kirk would be a better fit, but it seems like Washington's thinking about maybe franchising him so they can trade him. If I'm if, if I, I, like, I ain't signing with y'all. Y'all leave me alone. And then... I mean, can the, you blame Washington for doing that? You should... should you, they done botched this thing from the beginning yeah. to the end, Skip. But here's the thing. Going back to Denver, Kirk would be a better fit for the simple fact that if you want to win right now, John Elway, he tried to develop a quarterback, tried to develop Trevor Simeon, tried to develop Bart, uh, uh, um, Paxton Lynch. Mm -hmm. John, we got to get some consistency. You go 6'7", six, 6'7 seven, six, seven all the way down to 6 feet. Can we get a quarterback in like 6'4", John? Can we split the difference? Must we go all the way down to 6'? Can we find somebody in between? John wants to win right now, Skip. You win, you draft Baker Mayfield, the likelihood of you going to the playoffs are not very good. You put, you put Kirk into that lineup, they're a playoff team. They're a playoff team, Skip. Maybe. Yeah, oh, ain't no maybe. No. Uh, you, are you trying to tell they won nine games two years ago with Trevor Simeon? You mean to tell me Kirk is not a better quarterback than Trevor Simeon? He's not better than Brock Osweiler or Paxton Lynch? Uh, yeah, I know you, Skip, you ought to stop. See what, Skip, you play too much. Tell me when I start. That's when No, I'm you play too much. Hmm. You better worry about Philly. Don't worry about Kirk. He coming to the Broncos. Yeah, yeah worry about the Eagles. Yeah. Jerry worried about him, so I know you worried about him. Well, the Eagles are not part of this equation. <laughs> the Broncos are, and you, Mr. X Bronco, better be worried about your Broncos. Yeah, we get Baker the Mayfield. window is closing, if not already slammed shut. John, they always put a stick in the window. You know how they yeah. do it. It won't let it go. No, it's a little <laughs> twig right now. He's got a twig in the window, keeping it upright. Here's what I know about these two quarterbacks, and I've watched both of them a whole lot. In Kirk's case, too much. And in Baker's case, I saw every snap he took at the University of Oklahoma. Did not watch all of his games at Texas Tech. But I remind you, he played 48 college football games. That's a lot of football. Yeah. Okay. Baker Mayfield makes plays. Kirk Cousins makes mistakes. That's how I boil those two down. I am not completely sold on Baker Mayfield, as I've expressed before, but I'm less sold, a lot less sold on Kirk Cousins. So if I'm Denver and I have a chance sitting there at five, if that's how it's going to all flesh out, and I can take Baker Mayfield, I'm going to take him and I'm going to close my eyes and go forward because he is as NFL ready as you're going to get. He's played a lot of big time football, a lot of playoff football. He's more NFL ready than Kirk. Well, that's a fact, but okay. uh, unfortunately, Kirk is too NFL ready because Kirk Cousins in his career is 26 and 31 and one. So he's five games under 500 as an NFL quarterback. And you're telling me he's a godsend. He's a savior. Did I, they think that about Nick Foles? Did they say he was a godsend, a savior? Well, all he did was throw 27 touchdowns to only two interceptions in 2013. That was pretty good. And he went to the Pro Bowl well, as has Cousins. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, back to, let's do Baker Mayfield first. He is 39-9 and nine as a college quarterback, albeit as a college quarterback. But we had Charlie Wise come here and sit right there the day after the Georgia-Oklahoma game mm -hmm. and say, I, I don't want to hear anything more about any of those other quarterbacks. I'm taking that kid because that kid has something I can't teach or coach. He just competes, man. He competes like a, like on a psycho level. He does. And sometimes he goes completely over the edge as a competitor I and agree. gets completely carried away. And I cannot defend the off-the-field incident, the alcohol-fueled incident in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And if I'm John Elway, it would concern me greatly. Yes. And I can't defend the crotch grab or any of the other stuff. Even I, I can't really defend planting the flag on the horseshoe. I like, I like that. Do you? Okay. Because yeah. that's sort of you. That would yeah, be more like be, what yeah, you would do. Okay. Absolutely. But he he, had, he he didn't back it up. He'd already earned the right to right. plant the flag because yeah. he played. Or Urban Meyer said, I've never faced a quarterback in all my years of coaching who played a better game against me than that kid yeah. played. He's not a kid anymore. And he feels like he's like 35. Yeah, he's been in college for like, yeah, right? I mean, he went to yeah. Texas yeah. Tech for two years. Yeah. He sat out a year and then he played yeah. another four years. That so I've told you before, Kirk Cousins to me, is an underconfident overachiever. 
with this kid, he's also an overachiever, but he's a supremely confident overachiever who is fearlessly aggressive and, and competitive, where, where he'll just try anything at any moment. But you would, when, when he first started at Oklahoma, I thought, uh-oh, it's another Romo-esque, you know, rambling gambler. He's just going to try anything. Mm -hmm. He doesn't throw a lot of interceptions. So for the last two years, he threw 83 touchdown passes to only 14 interceptions. That's, that's like sensational. QBR, my favorite stat, if we can go back to this, is down to college football. Two years ago, he was number one in the nation in QBR, and last year he was number two in the nation in QBR. It's, it's taking into account every factor of how you play quarterback, running with the football. Now, he is not as elusive or fast as Johnny Manziel was in college, mm -mm. but he is mobile now. He can escape, and he's also durable, and he is a better passer. I, I could probably go to much better than Johnny Manziel was in college. But, Skip, if you got Cousins, he's more than a one-year solution. Sometimes you get these guys and you say, okay, he's going to be the bridge to the, you know, got these young, draft this young guy. If the Broncos were picking 25th and they took Breaker Mayfield and you had Cousins on your roster for three years or four years mm -hmm. and then you, uh, three years and you transition to Baker, okay. But I'm not taking Baker Mayfield with the fifth pick in the draft. Okay, but Kirk Cousins to me is a three-year frustration where you'll, you'll be close, close. Ugh, he, he always lets you down. The, the moment you need him, no, they let him down. The, the injuries let him down. Washington, doing everything they can, just kept putting up barriers to try to make Kirk uh, 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 fail. And it didn't work. So he's healthy, and he's told y'all to kick rocks. Mm. And then y'all, Bruce Allen, you go on TV and call the man Kurt. Kurt. And then talk about, oh, we offered him the most money, and then when you got right down to it, it was like the 25th most money. Mm. Y'all must be thinking mm. Kurt yeah. about his mind. So, Shannon Sharp, who yeah. is the Washington Redskins' arch rival? The arch rival within the division is the Dallas Cowboys. So that's the game you should win every year. You should dominate that series because that's that's the one that, that the fans are going to hang their hats it on. It happens sometimes. Uh, it yeah. happens? Yeah. So Kurt Cousins against my Dallas Cowboys in his career in Washington. Kirk! Went, I'm With sorry, a K. Kirk Cousins. Captain Kirk. <laughs> he went one for six against Dallas. One for six? He went 0 oh for four at home against Dallas. Really? And the one game that he won was against the now Dallas Cowboys quarterbacks coach, Kellen Moore. Really? That's the only one you won? Kellen Moore? You lost to Matt Castle on a Monday night in your stadium? Yeah, I, I'm not so. He's, I'll, be the, I'll be the Super Bowl champ. Yeah. Still left Eagles. And, and you're going you're gonna to have to pay this guy. What's he going to get on the open market? I don't know. $130 million, probably $100 million guaranteed. He said, I went head to head with Aaron Rodgers on a Sunday night. Mm -hmm. You know what I did, Skip. Mm. I saw him go head to head with Aaron Rodgers in a home playoff game, and he didn't do so well. He saw, he said, I saw Dak do the same thing. Hmm. He didn't do so well. Hmm. Which way? Against Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Because... Joy, on my menu. Mm -hmm. I ain't add no. I ain't add nothing to my menu. Hmm. I got on the sheet of paper. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Against... You want? You want a hey, hot dubs or cold ales? Huh. So Dak Prescott has played against Aaron Rodgers three times, and the QBR averages of those three games, Dak has averaged an 80, and Aaron's averaged a 61. If you don't mind, give me, can you give me the average win-loss record huh. between them? <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm looking on your paper. I don't see that. Well, so I, see two, I see one and two. For it was Dallas 30, Aaron Rodgers 16 up at Lambeau okay. a year ago. And then in the postseason, it was Mason Crossball. No, don't do that. Well, well it was. It took a 56-yarder and a 51-yarder. Well, who was throwing those rainbows? Huh? Who was throwing those Dak rainbows? was to Dez in that game. That's the last we saw of Dez Bryant as we knew and loved him. But Aaron told you what was going to happen. You remember when the Giants beat the Cowboys opening day, and they were getting ready to go back and face the Giants. Mm -hmm. Dak said, you know, we're going to make I'm going to make up for it. We're going to make up for it. Mm -hmm. They beat us in our house. Mm -hmm. We're going to beat them in their house. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers yep. did it. Aaron Rodgers liked to take his show on the road, Skip. He wanted everybody to see that. He gets yeah. tired of seeing the Packer fans just seeing him. Mm -hmm. So he went to Cowboy. He went to Jerry World mm -hmm. twice yeah. and gave it to him. And he went there this year, and Dak Prescott put up a QBR of 97 on a scale of 0 to 100. Cowboys put it's up hard to be better than that. Cowboys put up a nail. Without Sean Lee in the second half, they did. And Aaron Rodgers had a grand total of QBR of 74 in that game. It was 97 to 74. Oh, no. He got outplayed again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Skip. At the end of the day, if I win, if I win, yeah. that's how I look at it. Huh. When I was playing Ben Coles and I was oh, going against really? Tony and all these other tight ends, okay. if I won, 
I have bet I was a better tight end than so, you. Joy, I'm going to reiterate Kirk Cousins' yeah. one loss record in, sure. in his whole NFL career. First. It's 26 31 and 1. 26 wins, 31 L's, and one tie. So at your restaurant, he'd be shut out a lot of times, wouldn't he? he, he 31 times he couldn't even get in the door of your restaurant. Proud of Nick Foles doing what he did. Mm -hmm. Nick Foles had a hmm. one loss record of what? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but Nick Foles has thrown, what is it up to now? 70 touchdowns yeah. to. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got, oh, 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 Philadelphia. Yeah. He got uh, he got, got a place named after him, like mm. Pennsylvania. Mm. I think they close. They like uh, 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 nearby counties. Mm. Yeah, yeah, big old parade. Mm. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make it today because they, you know, bring my. Did you pick the Patriots? I'll go hit bring the little hand. Joy, why you why you don't want me to celebrate no, my moment? What I want you to do is just keep it real. That's all I'm asking. One hundred. Fly Eagles. <laughs> But you picked the Patriots, picked the Patriots, Patriots before the season and yeah, before the game. And before the game. That jinx was working. Oh, you ain't see, you ain't see that voodoo. To, hey, it was a trick. I called Miss Rudolph. Mm -hmm. Call Miss Rudolph. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I bit Tom Finger back on. Oh, yeah, that's ago. what it was. But really? then, that it didn't work. Did it, it, it didn't work. Wow. He cooked the well, Oh, it, I don't know. I just it's not where I want it to be, Joy. I just hope mm -hmm. I made I just hope I you know, my doctor cleared me to go play on Sunday. So all he did Sunday was throw for five oh all he did was take that L. Five oh five. And he didn't shake Nick Foles' hands. Wow. Nick Foles Ron looking for him. He's got a cut statement in. last night. Shake. We'll discuss that with Christmas you know Star what? next. <laughs> <laughs> he got a cut.